Hello everybody, Grace Steel Plays, and we're back with more of the Long Dark and the Interloper mode. No time for BS. I am playing the particular Interloper, I don't know, Halloween only special right now that's going on. Some people had said, like, don't play or don't update or anything like that, and just try not to get involved with it. But I, I say, damn it, we're gonna do it anyway. Now it's pretty damn dark, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's really dark, and I don't think I want to keep you guys in the dark the whole time. But I also really wanted to check out this little event. I don't, I don't know, I don't mind events like this. Like, even if it's a forced event and it's going to make us do this kind of stuff, I'm kind of okay with it. The biggest thing is, I want to make sure that we're not losing a bunch of conditions, so I'm going to go ahead and snack on one of these right now. You can see we're already at 56%. A lot of it is just due to being like drained and such now we are gaining some of our numbness back being in here which is really nice you can see just question marks for how much daytime is left so we're gonna have to make some torches to rest soon in fact I want to make sure that we can make some torches in here it looks like we kind of takes 15 minutes to make two torches and we've got quite a bit of lamp oil, so that's looking pretty good. Let's use the torches that we have right now, though. Again, this is a use of... Yes, this is a use of our, our matches. But, it's... You know, the long dark, when you're doing it like I'm doing it, isn't about just, like, being as incredibly efficient as possible and never doing anything wrong. Part of it is also about the entertainment value. And, oh my god! Oh, oh... Oh, 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 hold on. Part of it is about the entertainment value and picking up a mother freaking storm lantern, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my god, this is so good. Oh, oh, it's like 100% too. Now they had said that there would be like good loot around during this. So maybe this is part of it. I don't know. Hold on, this is awesome. Let's look through this locker real quick. Okay, let's turn this on. This is the first time I've ever had an interloper. Oh. Oh, feels so good. So good. Oh, yeah. If you ever wanted to hear Gray come close to satisfaction as he can get, here you go. I mean, this, I'm very happy about having this right now. Now, I also said that light sources last twice as long. So, I'm curious if this is considered a light source, and if the the use of our, our fuel is going to last twice as long as it normally would. I can't remember the actual item that they, that they mentioned for the twice as long. I don't remember if it was a lantern, or if it was something else. Every once in a while, there's stuff behind there. We might break those open. Now, the other cool thing about the hydro dam here, is there is like all of the possible wood and tinder and metal that you could ever want like this place is a absolute treasure trove of freaking reclaimed wood you can see already there's so many damn crates and everything around here i don't know what these guys were doing in this place but uh clearly they like to keep everything in boxes or they just never mess with the boxes i'm very curious though i've often asked is the hydro dam an accurate representation of a hydro dam? I've never been inside of one, so I'm not really that sure. Nothing so far in any of these lockers, so it's feeling very much like the interloper. Uh, I don't think that the interloper has gone away yet. That's for damn sure. I'm curious what the temperature is like outside, because I think when we left off, we had like five hours of sunlight left. I will say, though, it's not like grotesquely dark outside. Like, there's a lot of moonlight spilling in. So I'm kind of hoping, let's check this out, I'm kind of hoping that, like, it's very, very moonlit, I don't know how else to say it, like, it's so moonlit that you can still see very easily outside, so we can possibly navigate ourselves over to the log area, which is where I want to go. Now you can see we're getting pretty damn weighed down, and what's happening is it's like really affecting my crawl speed. It's affecting our, not crawl, our crouch speed, I should say. It's affecting just my regular walking speed as well. But the, just the, the movement speed for just kind of like crouching and moving is like severely impacted. A lot more scrap metal if you ever want it over here. As well as, I think we can, yeah, hacksaw down the broken light fixtures and stuff as well. That's pretty good. 
I now, can really walk with this much gear. there is a locker over here, or a safe, I should say. Let's go ahead and take this out because I'm still kind of, I'm still kind of picky about how I do my uh, my fuel. Let's crap. Okay, let's try it one more time. So immediately four right off the bat. Let's see what else. Okay, four fifty-five. It's something to eat. What else we got here? We're gonna have to eat another cattail stalk too, or maybe I'll eat one of those granola bars. We have. There we go, man. Wow, we got that open quick. Is there any really nothing at all? All right. What is the heaviest thing that we have to eat? Because I'll probably eat it. We don't have any more meat. Um, we have this can of pork and beans. We got this tomato soup as well for 300 points. I think I'm going to go ahead and eat this can of tomato soup real quick. That's going to get our that's going to get our our weight down like a little bit. That's going to put us below 40. But again, we're getting kind of uh, we're getting kind of weighed down just because of how exhausted we are. We got all kinds of cups of coffee though, and I do want to continue going through the hydro dam. Oh, uh, I don't know. I guess it's another book. Like we'll never, you know what I mean? It's like we're never going to get a gun, so having the shooting guide is kind of pointless. It's getting too heavy to carry. But by the same token, I feel weird just like leaving it there. It's, it's something we could burn if we ever need to, I guess. Let's continue moving down here. Now, some people had mentioned, like, well, what are you going to do if you run into Fluffy? Well, Fluffy's not in the interloper. At least as far as I know, he's not in the interloper. I haven't messed with, you know, freaking um, Halloween Day interloper yet. This is the first time I've logged into the Halloween version. So I don't know how this is going to affect us at all. Let's keep God, moving on through, though. So hungry in my life. Because this is a really big place, and like I said, I do want to... There's a fire barrel down here as well for any of you guys that end up uh, finding a, a sleeping roll. There's usually a dead guy up around that way. And every once in a while, I found some goodies up in these little... Um, up, I don't know what this is. Like, it almost looks like a well or something. Every once in a while, I found some good shit up there, so definitely check it out. But let's go up this way. Yep, there's our dead guy. He's always there. Usually I would find like a hatchet on him or something now Obviously, we're not going to be finding a hatchet this time and there's usually some goodies around this side as well Man, we are epically tired right now. In fact, you know what? Let's go ahead and swig down a cup of coffee real quick That'll get us a couple extra calories, but it's also going to pump us up a little bit. Yeah, you can see right there we're, we're being drained less just by having this some firewood right there if you want it, but man, we are so damn weighed down. Someone had said if it's fair firewood, go ahead and get it because you can repair the hammer. Now, I don't have my hammer on us right now because A, it's two kilograms, and B, I wasn't really like intending to use it that much. What is it? It's cedar firewood. Cedar firewood is still really good though. I'm trying to remember the different firewoods, like the cedar firewood I think burns, what is it, a really long time? And the fur firewood burns really hot. It's one or the other. But we do have our hacksaw if we ever, like, need to get firewood or something like that. Let's go around to the other side. And then we can keep heading through the dam. Already, Anything. already, I am really happy that we went into this dam. If nothing else, then for this lantern. Because this lantern is going to help our continued survival so much. For a few reasons. Like... So, uh, the lantern's a lantern, right? Which is whatever, it's cool, it, it provides you some light. But the lantern also, if I can show you real quick. Let me, uh, let me turn it off real fast. You can see right there how we went down to one Celsius. Here, watch. And then when you turn it on, it goes right up to four. So the lantern itself gives you more heat than a... Not gonna be able to carry so than a, a brand which only gives you two degrees Celsius plus we just flat found a flare so damn it that's pretty sweet too <laughs> and now let's go check out what uh, what's on our little buddy over here and then there's a few more places for us to get through I kind of wish that you could climb through this you know what I mean instead of having to walk all the way around that'd be kind of nice now, there is a place over here that you can climb through once you get to the rear of the dam. If you've never been to the rear of the dam, you can you can get out of the dam, but you can't get in the exact same way that you get out. Nobody needs this anymore. Bam! Wood matches and beef jerky. So you can't get back in the same way that you got out. You have to climb in through a window on, like, the way, way right-hand side of that exterior zone. 
Someone else had said, you know, I was getting so many wooden matches. They're like, wooden matches? Is this the interloper? <laughs> yes. It is the interloper. But yes, we are getting a lot of wooden matches. And I'm very happy about that. So, let's continue going down. We're going to go through our door over here. And already the things that we have found are, like, spurring me along. But again, man, we are tired as freaking crap. We are really tired. And if I could... What the hell? Oh, oh, it's a corpse right here. Man, you scare... It's like, that's your first jump scare for Halloween, the long dark. Shit, Jesus. If we could find a bedroll, though, that would... That would make our... That would make our, our, our entire journey complete. If we could find a bedroll. This pry bar is getting its work cut out for it, man. A lot of... A lot of lockers so far that we're having to bust on into. Oh, you guys had said too that you wanted the ambient sound to be louder. So what I'm going to do is when I make this video, I am going to put the ambient sound louder. Let me know if it's too loud though. The only now we're inside a lot so far this episode. In this episode, we may be inside the whole time. Depends on how much crap I find. But the reason I kept that down is because I felt like when I was out in the um when i was out in the the blizzards and stuff like that it was oh whetstone that's gonna be really good for when we find a, a knife when i was out in the blizzards it was like crazy loud and you know i do talk above the storm and i can definitely talk i can definitely raise my voice you guys know that but i don't know i felt like it was just too much you know what i mean Let's keep moving along, though. We can continue going down there. Every once in a while, I like to take a look over here. All right, let's keep going this way. And, man, still still finding good stuff, man. Good stuff. Beef jerky. We got, oh, by the way, I think you can open these? Oh, man, I felt, I felt like you used to be able to open those vents and there would be, like, little objects in there. Oh, maybe not. But between the matches, the lantern, the food, and everything else, we found a flare as well. We got that whetstone. So the hydro dam is definitely not, like, devoid of loot. Like, there's not the same, you know, crazy amount of loot that I would normally find. But we're finding stuff. How about something inside of the first aid kit? No. Now, we don't really need a lot of this. Dang it. We don't really need a lot of the supplies that you would find inside of a first aid kit. Because we have, like, so many antiseptic bandages. And we have so many teas that we could make for uh, the painkillers and stuff. Getting tired. Our poor girl's getting tired here. Check out this container. Don't worry, Jennifer. Keep keep pushing. How's our... All right. Our, our drained meter is kind of going. I think there's a torch right there, too, man. I don't know. I feel bad. Just leaving that torch there. I almost want to grab it. Is that 100%? This stuff will come in handy. No, it's at 37%. Okay, so it's a crappy torch. I'm not too worried about that. Especially now that we have our, uh, our lantern here. So let's keep pushing on. Drained meter up a little bit. Looks like we're coming across a scarf. Um, how's this scarf looking? 78%, whatever go through here now I think when I back on out of here I'll probably like stop recording for a little bit just so that because the the way out is it's gonna look the same as the way in guys I mean <laughs> there's not gonna be too much there it's not gonna be it's not gonna be too interesting and I know that at the back of this place there's sometimes a deer at back there but the other issue is that like for real we need to rest like I'm chugging coffee left and right here but we, we just straight up need to find a place where I can get a bed and get some shut-eye. Another sewing kit. That's not bad. Because sewing kits are one of those finite resources in the game. And although... Um, simple tools down there. We don't need those. We have our quality tools. And although... We, you can use fishing tackle to sew your items if, like, you run out of sewing kits. I think it takes, like, twice as long or something. So it's, it's clearly not as good as just having a plain old sewing kit. So if we can get a sewing kit, I'm, I'm going to keep it, man. Um, oh, that's a control box. I kind of thought that was a box that you could sift through. I see some more objects here. Another two. 
And I see another chunk of lantern oil down there, man. Yeah. We could always use some more lantern oil. Another stale chocolate bar as well. How about inside of the cabinet here? Gotta look inside of the inside of the cabinet all the way at the bottom. We'll take more lantern fuel now that we have this lantern for damn sure. So this door kind of fools you. It almost looks like you can get out, but no. It uh, the weather has has freaking snowed that thing in. And now if you remember, there's demon wolves that we're gonna have to contend with. So we're gonna have to be extra careful about that. Let's take a look down here. All right, nothing. Just some more metal shelving. Um, nothing inside of these, huh? All right. Man, look look at this. More boxes, man. More boxes everywhere. If you ever need boxes, this is where you can go. I really can't believe, though, that there's not, like, a bed or something in the Hydro Dam. The Hydro Dam is such... Oh, yeah! Herbal tea! Holy crap! This is... This is a very, very... Oh, by the way, that's where you come in uh, when you're outside. This is a great looting expedition that we've had so far. Fantastic looting expedition. And there's no doubt, no doubt right now that I have probably missed something. Because I am, I am like, kind of pushing through fast. Because I'm going to pass by here to get out of this zone anyway. So I'm going to get the opportunity. Like, here's a filing cabinet we haven't gone through yet. So I'm gonna get the opportunity to go through this a second time. You know what I mean? Um, ah, that's not what I want to do. No matter what. So, okay. I feel pretty damn satisfied about all the things that we've done. I'm gonna get back up to the top and see if I can get us into a bed. All right, guys, this is it, man. We're outside. This is the place. Now we have to be like super careful about demon wolves and stuff like that. I'm not gonna use my lantern right now. It's negative 16 degrees outside. In fact, you know what? Let's go ahead and get a flare. The only reason why is because if there's like freaking Fuck. Oh shit. All right. Oh my god. It is a demon wolf. Red-eyed demon wolves. So my question is, do these guys react the same as other wolves? Meaning can I, can I, like, walk around it? We're gonna have to, we can't let this guy push us around, though. All right, hold on. Let me go inside for a little bit. We've got three flares. Oh, this is gonna be a pain in my ass. We're gonna have to, we can't, we can't stay in here another night. We are, like, so drained, and we're pretty damn hungry as well. Now, luckily, I have a ton of cattail stalks to kind of snack on. I'm going to grab one more of these. I've got a ton of cattail stalks to snack on. But I can't keep... We have a lot of coffee. I guess I could remain in here, but that's no fun. I want to I wanna check... I want to check this place out, man. I want to get to see... I want to get to see what this place has in store for us. You know, all this, all this, all this nighttime and things. That was kind of cool. The little red eyes on the freaking wolf was kind of neat. But uh, the only issue is I don't know if they're like more powerful or if they're just regular wolves. Now, someone had said in the, there was a discussion on the Long Dark forums that they weren't even sure that they had implemented the wolves because they had never seen one. Well, there you go, man. They implemented the wolves. All right, let's see if he's still outside. If he is, I'm probably going to pop this flare. And it's flurrying. How about some of this, buddy? How do you like this? Got this flare for you. Bring it on! This is gonna make us tired when we brandish this, by the way. Get up out of here! There we go. Alright, let's go. This is so bad. This is so bad. We're gonna die. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, we do have our flare. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna look for saplings right now. Mostly, I just want to survive. We got these flurries kind of coming in too, which is gonna be a pain in the ass. Um, oh god. Let's keep pushing along. These flurries, though, and the visibility is even down a little bit. Damn it! I was hoping I could get up 
on this train tracks without having to go the long way. Oh. All right, baby. It's not that dark outside. Like, it's dark, but without this flare, I could easily navigate right now. It's too bad that you can't turn off a flare once you use it. It's given us a couple of degrees, which isn't bad. But remember, we have no chance at sprinting right now. So, I'm just hoping there's no demon bears, man. Now, right up here should be the logging area. And that should get us a place to uh, some cabins if we follow the pathway. And I think those are going to be our closest damn cabins. There are... What the hell? Okay, I think I heard some deers running around. There are some other cabins, I think, to the lower left-hand side of the zone, or, or right-hand side of the zone. But I don't know if they're, I don't know 100% if they're going to be there or if they're burned down cabins. I'm pretty sure that these cabins are always there, I don't rest soon, I'm like 100% all the time. So, let's keep moving. Again, there's carcasses on the ground. We just can't do it right now. We're, we're too beat up. Our, our condition is like epically low as well. It's at like 56%. I can see some stuff on the ground over there. Now we're back at risk for hypo frickin' thermia. Okay, I see the pathway. So this is... Oh, God. Okay, this is the pathway. Let's follow this around. I keep thinking I'm seeing uh, wolves, but I think it's just trees that are cut down. See all that over there? Oh, man. I'm not going to lie, guys. This is... Um, I'm feeling pretty tense right now. All right? So, I'm feeling real tense right now. Oh, God. I know, uh, right now there's a lot of people watching another series of mine called My Summer Car. That is obviously a comedy series. This is much more. Someone called it a drama series. Yeah, you're probably right. It's mostly a Give Gray a Heart Attack series and see how high we can get his blood pressure at. Oh, we're moving so slow right now, though. I may even, I don't know, I may even pop myself like a cup of coffee or something. In fact, hold on. Go swig down another cup of coffee here. There we go. Just get me a little bit more stamina. Again, though, we're moving like just so damn slow because of how beat up we are. Come on, baby. Let there be some trailers. Now, I can't really see it perfectly. But I think I see something over there. Right there. Is that the trailers? Yeah, there's some cabins and stuff. Oh my god, they're not all burned down, are they? Please, God, let there be one intact. Because this flare is not going to last forever. Yes, I think I see at least one trailer. Yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty good. <laughs> I'm going to get over there and there's not going to be jack shit and then we're all going to die. I don't see any, I don't see any, I haven't seen any of the wolves, though. I may have just jinxed myself. 48%. Very low right now. Oh my god, have we got to sleep. And with these flurries moving in, I don't feel really, really comfortable about that. This is good, though. Okay, this is good. There are definitely places still intact. So we're going to get to sleep, and we're also going to get to search, do a lot of searching in. Let's go get right inside. Get right to sleep. As much sleep as we can get. I'm, I'm not even going to search any of this right now. We're going to search it after we wake up. I'll see you guys in the morning time. All right. We are back. It is, I don't know, morning time, I guess. It says X hours of daylight. So it clearly is the daytime. It's really, like I said, it's really not that um, dark. Like, I could see without this lantern right now. Right now, I'm just using it for the benefit of you guys. Because it's, I don't know, it's kind of dark. On some people's monitors, I would imagine it's pretty damn dark as well. For me to try and loot everything with, um, with as dark as it is. And we have an okay amount of fuel. Like, we're gonna get more fuel as I, as we do some fishing and stuff. So I'm not too worried about it. Right now, though, let's get all these things freaking looted. All these different trailers looted. You can hear weather is going nuts outside. 
That's that's the spent flare, by the way, over there. That's the flare I utilized. Got a container right over here. We're at, I think, 81%. Yeah, 81% right now. So I'm feeling a lot better about life. A lot better. Especially considering, uh, compared to where we were. And that's it. That's all that's in here. Let's go ahead and keep moving. We've got, like, those chairs and stuff like that to break down if we ever needed some reclaimed wood. But we are very, very heavy right now. This is what it's like outside at the moment. Looks like crap. But again, it's not normal darkness. I feel like, th I feel like although this mode is going to be dark, it's not as dark as it could be. Let's check around here and see if we can find anything else. Ah, Summit Soda, huh? All right. How about a fire striker? That would be... We have all of the good loot now except for a bedroll and a fire striker. If we could find if we could find those two things, I would be really really happy. Let's look underneath all these beds though because you never know, man. All these shelving units here as well. Uh nope, doesn't look like there's anything. Now, I'm not really expecting to find too much stuff inside of these trailers. These trailers are are even normally not on the interloper uh, difficulty level, not that good for loot. So, I wouldn't have expected to get too much there. A couple more. I got a couple of outhouses. Can you open these? Uh, no. Eh, it was worth a shot. This looks like the last one. Alright, baby. Oh, I see a granola bar or something right over there. We'll grab that in a second. Let's go ahead and start from this side, though. Underneath the beds, nothing. A couple of containers though for sure more accelerant okay i'm starting to get to the point where i can abuse a little bit of accelerant we have we've got what like five things of accelerant at this point it's getting kind of ridiculous now the other issue with this storm is i'm not gonna be able to get very far because like we're it's freaking the halloween thing and it's gonna storm outside this for us is getting too heavy to i'm carry. crazy enough for doing this i don't think i should go ahead and, and try and get anywhere in the storm probably end up killing myself and then uh I do not want I do not want to die during this go through. I I really want to see how far we can get. Inside of this crate nothing as well. All right guys. So there we go. We've gotten to see the interloper mode utilizing the Halloween update. We got to see a demon dog and I don't think that we found any of like the special Halloween catches. But man, that hydro dam was good for loot. We got the storm lantern. We got all kinds of lantern fuel. We got a flare. Of course, we had to use one on a demon dog. But whatever, man. Things are looking pretty good. Hope you guys are enjoying the long, dark, and the interloper mode. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.